Hey everyone, Hollis from Miro here. Today I'm going to walk you through Miro's new remote team meeting template in Confluence. The great part about this template is that it brings the wiki nature of Confluence, in which is this live doc that can be edited and shared with your team, with the living workspace of Miro, so that synchronously and asynchronously, as you're coming together with your team, or maybe it's with the person that you manage in a one-on-one, -on -one, you have your workspace, which is Miro, the, an online collaborative whiteboard, with a living kind of project plan or notes or relevant takeaways and updates, so that any kind of distributed team, hybrid team, um, can have all of the information that they need right in a single document. So let's jump in. This is just a blank page right now, and you can see the Confluence template library here at the right. So I'm gonna search the remote team meeting template by Miro, it shows you a little bit of a preview. And what's great is it immediately populates everything you need. We want this to be ready-made. You can just start it and every meeting, that is this one meeting. So let's say it's a team huddle that you have that's recurring. This is going to be your one source of truth. We don't want you creating new pages. Use this and update it so you can really show progress over time. And let's say somebody misses a synchronous meeting, they can just look back at notes from the last meeting or also look back at the context of what was happening asynchronously and was updated on this page. So just to start here, you really want to couch your meeting in why it exists. So what's the goal? What is the meeting exactly? Who's involved? This is what I really like about Confluence is all of the shortcuts. So you can, you know, app mention attendees. I'll app mention myself for now. You can add the date. Um, so if it's a recurring meeting or just to tell everybody when the next, next um, meeting is, you can put that information. And then what we personally think is the coolest part about this is this again is your asynchronous um, single source of truth in Confluence. But when you are ready to meet synchronously and look at the meat of your work with your team, so let's say you're looking at a project plan or you want to do a brainstorm, why not actually bring that collaborative workspace right into your Confluence document? So you can actually do that with Miro. It's called Miro Live Embed. And I'm going to show you how to do that quickly. Um, and in this way, you can bring synchronous engaged collaboration um, into your team document for people to reference um, after as well and interact with it and add to their work in Miro. So I'm just going to pull up this. Um, it's actually an Atlassian team play work workshop template. Um, and when I hit publish, you'll be able to actually interact with this and anybody that has access to this team play template. Next up are the team updates. This is perhaps the most important part of the template itself because this can happen at any time. So anybody can come in that's relevant to this one team meeting. Maybe it's a team cross-functional team huddle and add anything that's happened between meetings so that people are up to date before you actually hop into the meeting. And we then are spending your time um, together with, you know, we're all short on time. We have way too many meetings. So when you are together, make sure that you're really answering the most pressing blockers decisions and that those aren't things that could have been could have been made or could have been updated asynchronously in this form. Um, it's also a great place to assign relevant stakeholders and they'll be notified um, if they have an action item between meetings. Finally, those updates are actually going to inform your meeting agenda. And so this is a way again to have a really goal oriented meeting. Um, and hopefully you can center your meeting then back up here around your workspace itself. And so everybody's really collaboration ready um, and has the context before the meeting starts. And finally, just to consolidate all of your various you know, documents, notes, whatever, um, we've created a resources section. So this is where you can kind of have your library of anything that might be relevant for different stakeholders involved. So that is the brief overview of Miro's remote team meeting template. Um, we hope you use it and test it out and let us know how it goes. Happy collaborating.